should probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. Maybe this dude can give me a ride. Maybe. Bang! I just killed you. You're either stupid as fuck or you think you're tough shit. Or both, I guess. I need a ride. You got a ride. Are you willing to work for it? I got needs. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fucking with you, man. Okay. So you have some balls on you just standing there like that. You get killed eventually. Ain't none of my business. I won't. What's your name? Asswipe. I was gonna say you look like an asswipe. Asswipe ain't got any manners. Mom of asswipe didn't teach him any manners. But maybe she named you Russell, and you didn't lose the manners till later in life. Unless you stole that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? It's mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Okay. Yeah. I'd like a ride. That'd be good. Thanks. Hell yeah, get in. Let's tear it up. I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in. We'll get there. Or somewhere. Eventually. Name's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? This is the fucking apocalypse. This is like nothing. No, I'm just good, all right? All right, all right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? Must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. Can we just drive? We? Oui. You want to sit on my lap? I just don't want to talk. You're a tough little nut, Russ. Look, man, I'm sorry if I freaked you out at first. We all got our way of coping with shit, right? I guess I can come across a bit... Ah, whatever. I guess. There you go. Relax. We're gonna have some fun. Why don't you tell me where you were before you got here? Fine. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They are all at my grand's down Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors. It was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? A strong six? 
Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I put it right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman is all we got left now. No laws, no jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. Whatever. Let's try this again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was rotten, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Tell me, Russ! Ten, okay? Ten, you psycho! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Well, I found out... Damn it! <laughs> Would you load that? Bullets in the glove bag. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Oh shit! Go! Get up! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Okay, get ready! Don't stop running! And keep your head down! That's why I can move! What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did! I don't know, man. Fuck, we're screwed. You haven't been shot at in three months? Come on, kid, look at me. This is no big deal. We got this, okay? Okay. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right, yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! Shit! Push! Uh, End of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously this time. I'm not fucking around. Yeah, no problem. Easy as pie. Just don't get shot. If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you wanna go first, that's fine too. I'll go first. Atta boy, Russ. Haul ass. Alright! I'm good! Heads up!
As soon as you start shooting, I'm coming! Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go! Crazy, man. Whatever. We got more work to do. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me, you got it? All right, we're gonna be fucking quiet. Sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Just jump out and grab him. Your call. Don't fucking move! Walt! Oh! Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. Shut this guy up. I can't handle this. Agreed. Look at how much progress we've made. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Uh... Why? Why? All right, look at all this shit. See? Worth dodging some bullets? What the- Relax. You're my boy, Russell. Things are gonna be A-OK. -okay. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Well, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? I won't know for sure until I find them. Sure, sure. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. So 
far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you- Bits! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because she says it's true doesn't mean it is. You should know about that. Hey, what I told Leyland- Cool it. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought, you know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Wyatt. Look, we need people, plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. Following her, that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. No, fuck this. She's crazy. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. Then stay here if you want. I'm not bringing anyone against their will. We only want people who want to be there. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? If we wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I had a gun and snuck right up. Well, what's stopping you? Exactly. Nothing. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah. I'm going. Yeah, I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. We have people of all ages in our colony. Teenagers, whole families. It's a chance to reconnect with people the way you used to. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. 